Hello everybody, this is Chris Crescens. I'm in uh, Bella Bice and I'm here with an artist she has in her own exhibition. Tell us your name. Ashley Polayer. All right, tell us about your exhibition here. Yes, my exhibition um, is called uh, St. George and I. Uh-huh. Um, it's the story of St. George and it's the story that I made it my story. Mm -hmm. and, apart, uh, and from that point, uh, I started my journey with St. George. And uh, I made uh, this installation and, and the paintings that are in the other uh, part of the exhibition room. Perfect. Walk us through it. Tell us about your paintings, the ones that you can tell us, anyone that, uh, like this one, what is this one? Okay, this one is a um, collage uh, painting, and it's about the, um, the princess and, and dragon and the... Uh, the chevalier who is going to save the princess and kill the, the dragon. But at the end, it's the, um, uh, the roles that we have all inside. We have all uh, this uh, uh, hero. We all have these uh, fears that uh, is inside us. And, uh, and to, to be able to go uh, in our way, we should accept uh, and and live with uh, our hero and our fears and, and our princess inside us. Perfect. Now we walk to the other, other room this here. One? Which one? This one. Okay, I'll follow you. It's a little bit dark though, but we should be able to see a little bit. Oh, this one here. Okay. So you enter. This way? Yeah. yeah. Well, I see an empty space that is full of energy. I'm very artistic when it comes to that part. And I see this big thing right here. You created this? Yes. Oh, wow. And what it exactly is it? Or how did you create it? What did you use? What? Uh... This is um, iron or chingo or uh -huh. how you call it. But you should enter it. Oh, you want me to go to enter and yeah, walk yeah. through there? Okay. Yeah, because this is the way with San George. It is important to enter inside. Got it. Oh, ah, okay. Enter. Inside. enter. Mm -hmm. All the way in. Okay. Well, I see myself in the mirror here. Okay. And okay. Uh, Very good. I'm in the video now, too. Very nice, and I like also the area that is, this one is presented, you know, it's very appropriate with your, yeah. with your themes. And, uh, so, we came here. No, well, what is this one here? This one what is, is the name a of lithographic work. Uh-huh. Um, it's about um, on the way with St. George, we took so many roads and, and we get lost and we found ourselves, or I find myself, uh -huh. but uh, with these cows and with this, uh, uh, in these ways, uh, sometimes I have to choose. I made a decision and make some choices, so it's, uh, it's about this. Got it, yeah. So here, we call, I call it rounds, moons. This one here? Yeah, this one and the other one. Um, if you count it, uh -huh. there is 20 here. 20, okay. And 20 the other side. So it's about uh, 40. And 40 in Mediterranean culture is a very significant uh, number. Mm -hmm. When you get ill or when you get uh, wounded, you should wait 40 days to be healed or to get uh, out of the of this process. So it's about these uh, wounds or wounds that we have inside and how we how we live with these wounds and how we transform our wounds to something uh, something else. And they are very similar, right? The other. 20, you said? Yeah, here uh, it's all about this um, and the cows. Uh, 
we always uh, have this uh, silent place or safe place, and it's it's all about things. I see a lot of red in the in the paintings. That does mean anything? The red color, or no? Or it's just a it's a coincidence? Very, very no, it's a it's on purpose, there, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the thing is that you you should always have this white uh, place there. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's empty, and in this empty space, you have your uh, your safe place in this cows. And this one here. And this one here is about um, about the movement, about again the the wounds that we have and when we are hurt or when we are not uh, good, we feel we think that we are uh, the middle of the world. It's true, it's our world, and we are in the middle of our world. But the uh, world goes in another way, and there is lots of things. But um, I call this um, passepartout. This one? Pass yeah, this one. Uh, passepartout because if there is, if you can pass through uh, everywhere, it means that you can flow, you are not stuck. So uh, the round goes in another way, so it's, there is a movement, so you can continue. <laughs> wow. And that's it. That's it? Yes. Tell us more about yourself. Where uh, where did you um, get your painting uh, inspirations, or, or where did you study, or, 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 or where? Uh... I studied in France, in Marseille. Uh -huh. I I I lived uh, in the Mediterranean uh, most of the time. I mean, always. Uh, I uh -huh. live in, in in Marseille, in France, uh, and in Barcelona, and I split my time between Barcelona and, and Cyprus. Um, I studied fine arts, uh, um, I studied uh, expressive arts as well in Barcelona, and I'm uh, making exhibitions, uh, art exhibitions, and, um, and having um, expressive art groups. And who was your, if you can name one or two painters that inspire you? Any, any, oh, can you there is any? a lot, there is a lot. Fortunately, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> a lot of inspirations, huh? Yeah, a lot well, that's of good. That's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. Of course, it's a good thing uh, because I believe that we are all uh, influenced from each other because we are living in the same world. Um, one of them, for example, for this exhibition, uh, I can say Uccello mm -hmm. uh, from Renaissance, and um, uh, Apart from Uccello, uh, other, per other painters, I love a lot uh, David Hockney. Um, Do you have any uh, online presentation, like a Facebook page or YouTube page to, or web page to present your art? Page. Yes, I have a web page, yes. To, to give us, uh, what's the name of it? Like, uh, uh, it's my name, uh, uh -huh. www.aslibolayer.com. Okay. How do you spell that, your last name? Or your name? The whole? Uh, A S L I D O L A Y I R. Okay, very good. <laughs> well, thank you very much, and I appreciate for showing us around your, your uh, exhibition here. Yeah, it's, it was a good surprise. I didn't expect you. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm with my friend <laughs> Tuncher, the archaeologist. We, we always film all around Cyprus, so he wanted me to bring me here and show your art. And if he says he wants to come here and show you something, it means it's very, very important. It's very, very okay. good art. Thank so you. thank you very much. I appreciate you for taking time for us. And I will uh, be posting this on YouTube and also on Facebook, and, and especially my group, the Cyprus Culture Group which we have uh, members from all communities of Cyprus and from all over the world. Final question, do you want to give any message to anybody, to any, any of the people watching around the world about you, about your art, or anything you want to tell us like in one minute um, before we close the interview? Yeah. Um, I believe in art, and I think um, we should uh, give more time uh, to invest in ourselves by doing art. Got it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.